support of the revocation? No, I'm not Lester. Please come forward. Is it? Your name? Oh. Is it Lester? Lester. Lester, please come forward. us to Hassan R., uh, who wishes to speak and is against revocation.
Can you understand their whole system? I don't understand why. What's the reason? Why all of a sudden go to oppose it? Do you have, can you tell me, Chair, what's the reason you're proposing this to oppose this? Is there a police report where people sat there and did something? Like the police have been called there every day? Just, there's a lot of people in here. And I'm a Muslim person. I'm here with the Christian people. I don't discriminate against anybody. Just to let everybody know, please, don't close this place. There's a lot of people behind me right here that do not want this place to be closed. You guys were picked by these residents. I'm asking you guys today to please not just sit here and close this place. Thank you. All right, continuing down the list, uh, against revocation, Latoya Rowland uh, is against revocation, does not wish to speak. Paul, Paul Staples is against revocation and does not wish to speak. Uh, we have against revocation and wishes to speak. H A S S. He's not here, he's outside. Okay. <coughs> Beth Delaney is against revocation. Carrie Bell is against revocation. Derek Wart, I believe, is against revocation. Jen Geddes is against revocation. Stephanie Grawl is against revocation. Dale Tamsin is against revocation. Joan Forrest is against revocation. Linda Cupkey is against, re uh, against revocation. <coughs> Carol Topher is, supports revocation. <coughs> Linda Yalovina supports revocation, does not wish to speak. Casey <coughs> Darren supports revocation, does not wish to speak. Mm -hmm. Myrna Gakalka is against revocation. Um, I believe the last name is Ranker, R-E-I-N-K-E-R, is against revocation. Walter Kabalka is against revocation. Susan Richards is against revocation. Kathy LaPlante is against revocation. Riley is against revocation and wishes to speak. Good evening, Council. Good evening. How are you guys? I just wanted to give you a little bit of um, my personal story and how it correlates to Christ-centered services. I'm 32 years old today. When I was 17, I was homeless. Um, it was a scary time, but more than not, it was a really traumatic time for me. I'm still working through a lot of the trauma of that time today. Um, later in life, we'll fast forward a little bit, I came into a service that was a lot like Christmas. They helped me out significantly. They had access to computers. They got me a client to job. Um, and it was a really, it really turned my life around for the better. Um, after, after that, I started going to school through Arizona State University, uh, graduating with a bachelor's in the field of social work. Um, I just graduated last week. With the help of ChristNet Services, they allowed me to volunteer with them. Which was, which was a, a mandatory thing for my schoolwork. Uh, ChristNet Services is really, they go really deep into trauma-informed care to help people that have that trauma in the background of their lives. Uh, they give them meals, there's um, hygiene, there's showers, there's computers where they can get a leg up. Um, this takes people off of the streets to help them. It's not just bringing them in so that they can hang out and talk and you know do whatever they do. It's um, actually moving them forward and correcting them. And as somebody who about 15 years ago was on the streets myself, now I have a bachelor's in the field of social work, and it's thanks to Christ's for helping me do that. Amen. Amen. 